We've been waiting weeks, and those things are still swarming our property while you sorry excuses for defenders of the Republic sun yourself on the base. This is a military operation, sir. This planet hasn't been cleared for civilian occupancy. My brother didn't mean to be insulting, but for three centuries our family has dreamt of reclaiming our place on Terrace, and now to be stopped by those things. What's this all about? Their old estate's off base, so we got no way to secure it. Terrace is our home. We're not gonna wait until the army takes its pick of the planet and then throws us the scraps. The Republic validated our records, but some outlaws set up a camp there. They've got security droids all around the perimeter. You need something dangerous cleared out first? It's not Raghuls or anything. There's someone living there. Sentience. They've got security droids all around the perimeter. It's a war zone. We almost got killed entering our own property. The Republic will respond to all such claims of hostile non-indigenous life forms based on strategic value. Why don't you let me deal with this? Yes. Tell this coward we are the rightful owners and he has to help us. You want to explore? You look like you can handle it, but it's your choice. Would you really be willing to take such a risk for us? Your claim seems just. Great. They're all yours, then. You find anything important, you can fill out a form at HQ. All we need is to get those blasted droids cleared out and find out who's controlling them. I can handle the rest. Hold. We have no more with which to defend ourselves. You have left us helpless before the Rakuals and everything that haunts this planet. My people are refugees, survivors of the battle on Coruscant. Would you turn us out of yet another home? The owners have been waiting for centuries to return here. So many men are here to reclaim this planet who know nothing of its past. Ancient Taurus was a blight on the Republic. The black mark on its reputation for freedom. You need somewhere to settle. I'm sure there's unclaimed land. This is my land. My ancestors owned it for generations before the humans on Taurus exiled them and all other species below ground. I have their documents. So old they were kept in printed form. Read them yourself if you doubt me. What happened? There must have been a reason. It was about money, of course. A human governor cut taxes to favor his people, and when others rebelled, they were the ones punished. I think the claim was, aliens are dangerous to Teresian trade. If you have any sympathy for our cause, perhaps there is something you can do? We are alone, and at the Republic's mercy. I would not wish to see you turned away from your home. I thank you for softening your heart to my story. I will tell my people to begin repairs on our droids. Excellent job. We can smell the smoking metal corpses from here. I told them that's not really possible. So who are the crooks who set themselves up on our property? Did you drive them off? Look at these papers. The aliens there have as good a claim as yours. The alien resettlement was a valid executive order approved by the Republic. This is our land! There are alien survivors who kept their claim? I'd have thought they would never come back here. I... I studied the history. It, it wasn't right. It was justified! You can't make us leave because of that! take more than two people to turn this place civilized. I agree, Relis. This isn't our ancestors' estate. This is a frontier. We'll need to grow food, sew clothes, defend ourselves. Wouldn't it be better to ally with these aliens? Sew clothes? Hmm. Maybe we should just hear them out. See what they're looking for. We won't turn them away. I know what it's like to want a home. Hey, good job. Both on the droids and getting to the bottom of that mess. Terrace politics. Huh. Who cares about this dump anyway? Grass called me when you left. Wanted to see if your work's as good as your rep. Is there something else you want me to do? Well, I doubt he's asking you over for a cup of mudleaf tea. Captain Childress calls, it usually means something needs fixing. If you're interested, go look him up. His office is at HQ, other side of the base. Tell him you're the one who ran off the Brat Brigade. Hey there, Captain Childress. I want to thank you for taking the time to see me. You did nice work on that land claim mess. Like we flew this many troops to the armpit of the galaxy so some kids could play Pioneer. 
It'll take way more than it's worth to make this planet livable. Only thing interesting about Terrace is that it's the worst failure the Republic's ever had. I don't know much about Terrace's history. Way back when, the Sith were searching for a Jedi here. When they couldn't find her, they tried destroying the entire planet. The Jedi escaped, but millions of people died an ugly flame and death. The Empire tried the same thing on Coruscant in the last war. 300 years after Terrace, we still don't know squat about how to defend against a bombardment once ships are in low orbit. Until we learn to defend ourselves, we're at the Empire's mercy. That's why I'm here. Learn what we can, so we don't repeat the mistakes. I sent commandos to defend a research team at the crash site of the Endar Spire. The last Republic warship shot down over this planet. If we're lucky, that ship recorded the whole bombardment. But my team's lost contact, which means there are desk jockeys in the wild with the most valuable data on Terrace. If they've still got comms, tell them help is on the way. The crash site's a ways out, fast as you can make it. I don't know if we've got survivors. Research team's your number two priority. Data's the most important thing. Take anything the Endar Spire recorded to Commander Viki at the outpost. Lieutenant Carlslew, I'm all that's left of Commander Childress's fifth detail. Please, tell me you're our reinforcement. Childress sent me. What cut you off? Give me a moment. All's clear, guys, and we've got some muscle from back on base. This is what's left of our research team. The others got ambushed while working. Scavengers must have guessed we were after something good. We need to hold them off long enough for the research team to recover and download that data. Now you'll get to see how a Jedi handles things. Okay, data's priority one. Everybody into the ship, go! Did, those would be our smoking corpses there, no question. Unfortunately, we're not done. Not until this Rex data is in the hands of Commander Viqui. Give me what you have. I'll get it to the Commander. We've recovered all the high-priority info. If you run that to the outpost, I'll hold off what's left of the scavengers until our reinforcements arrive. If you have any questions about military operations on... My pardon, Jedi. I'm actually expecting one of your order. Are you the one who saved my team at the Endar Spire? You're the one I'm supposed to report to? Yes. I appreciate the service you have done for me and for the Republic. The data from the Endar Spire will be invaluable to the Republic's war efforts. Lieutenant Carl Su tells me there's close surveillance footage of the Imperial warships. My life is dedicated to stopping the spread of the Sith. As is mine. Thank you for your service. Republic Intelligence has been waiting for this data since the bombardment fell. Master Jedi, what brings you to our small corner of Republic space? This is such a great, great honor. Tell me what's happening. Uh, we're having some trouble. Nothing you couldn't have predicted, but there you are. Our bases here are far from self-sufficient. We're not farmers, and there's no existing infrastructure here to work with. We're at the mercy of our supply ships. And this month just went nose down in some of the worst territory on Terrace. Where's the ship? I don't care if it's at the bottom of a swamp. The Republic thanks you for your service. Our men tried to reach the ship once, but they turned back after taking serious casualties. They said it's more than just rat ghouls, but couldn't make an ID. If you still want to go, you'll need to talk to our quartermaster at the supply shed across the base. She's got the exact coordinate to the crash. And you're just going to make this all better, huh? I'm sorry. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Karen Wet, Quartermaster. Commander Gardet just called to say you're retrieving our supplies. For which, by the way, I and the rest of the troops here humbly thank you. But I don't want Commander Fat Pants to think it means he gets away with this. Steal from your troops, waste Republic money bringing in silks and wine from Alderaan, and it's fine. Because some wandering Jedi will happen in to save you. Tell me the whole story, and more slowly this time. The ship didn't have to crash. I said over and over that the ship needed repairs. 
The left stasis generator was loose, and the hyperdrive motivator was seeping fluid. But Gardet had already spent our allotted maintenance budget on himself. Do you have any doubts about this whatsoever? I'm telling the truth. Somehow he's juggling the numbers he sends to HQ. No commander needs a personal vehicle in an outpost this size. If you can take this hollow camera out to the crash site, you could get the evidence I need to get him court-martialed. When you've put it that way, how can I refuse? Thank you. If you take hollow pics of the engine, I can show that the documented lack of repairs is what caused the crash. The most important thing is the supplies, though. The crash site isn't far. When you get everything, bring it back here so I can distribute it. You don't have antibiotics. They come on the same ship as everything else. You're supposed to keep better tabs on that sort of thing. These men have the Cillian flu. They could die if... Master Jedi, dare I hope you've made it to our ship? No number of beasts could have kept me from aiding these men. Your order is known for its mercy. Thank you for coming to our aid. The men came close to mutiny when I cut rations again. Uh, they knew this wasn't going to be a luxury cruise. What do you expect? You ask your men to starve while you eat Bantha steaks from off-world. You should be ashamed of what you've done. How dare you talk to me like that? All due respect, Master Jedi, but this is my command, and you're a guest here. And you? I've sent every report ever made about the ship's condition to Republic Command. If they discover the cause of the crash, you're in serious trouble. The men on terrorists deserve a better leader. This is ridiculous. I did nothing wrong. Republic Command will never listen to you. I... I need to call them. Thank you for all your help. But there may be something else, too. Normally, our fourth outpost comes here to pick up its supplies. But their convoy never arrived this month. I'm afraid something happened. They need to be found. Just tell me where to look. You've got to be the best friend these soldiers ever had. The route between the outposts runs along Lake Brel. Not the best planning. There's Rackles there, and a Nexu spawning ground in worse. Usually the convoy's managed by only traveling when the sun is highest. Plus lots and lots of firepower. But if they're out there too long, well, you need to find them. Every moment we delay risks their lives. I'll leave right now. Whatever happened to the convoy, we need to make sure Morn Outpost gets their supplies. Sonic emitters along the route usually keep off the worst of the critters. But if they're on the fritz, that convoy would have walked into a feeding frenzy. Fix the emitters and see what you can find about the convoy. When you're done, report to Commander Yajek at Morn Outpost. And thank you. We just stopped to rest. Geozel found a scratch, and we don't know if it's the Rakul infection, so we're waiting. And Ferdoan might be coming down with the Geonosian Swamp Flu, but we're on our way, I swear, and... You're looking at me very strangely. What are you expecting me to accuse you of? Nothing. I, I mean, I, I, I... Look, I know we're late, so people naturally start thinking... You're 48 hours late. Have you been here that whole time? Yeah. Like I said, Ferdon was hurt. I, I mean, Geozo and... Oh, forget it. I was never a good liar. We aren't going back. Is that what you wanted to hear? We've deserted. You have a duty to the Republic. What about its duty to me? Five years we've been out here. No break. Most of our friends have died. We're wounded. Tired. Broken. Fighting something that can't think. Can't be frightened. And if you get the slightest scratch, you become the enemy and your own squad puts you down like a dog. You have given the Republic as much as it can reasonably demand. You're not gonna turn us in? It's wrong for someone to suffer like that. We're heading back near the main base. There are scavengers with ships there. Maybe we can make it off-world. Please, tell Commander Yajak you found our bodies. That way no one will ever come looking. State your business. 
This is a Republic military outpost, sovereign territory of the Galactic Republic. We will defend ourselves with deadly force if necessary. Don't you recognize a Jedi when you see one? Apologies, Master Jedi. Forgive my paranoia. There's no unauthorized travel this far into the wilds. Best policies usually blast first, chat later. Don't suppose you were sent by Commander Guarded with news about our supplies. It was surprisingly simple, really. That's a relief. Our own convoy never reported back. Wouldn't be the first time we lost one to the Nexu. I was about to send another, but that means leaving the whole outpost understaffed and undefended. And the Rack Ghouls have been real active this month. Don't suppose you saw any sign of our boys. If they're still alive, they'd better have a good excuse for leaving us hanging. I'm sure your concerns are unnecessary. I'll have to assume the worst. Usually not much left to find if the Nexu were at them. Anyway, thanks for the help and the news. This sure won't help morale. Everyone else will just have to work a bit harder now. <laughs>